Next statue up for possible removal is the Jefferson Davis figure in the uh, Kentucky Rotunda of the Capitol. Andy Bashir isn't the first governor to want it gone. Davis, a Kentucky native, led the Confederacy as president. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is looking into whether we could be seeing the removal anytime soon. This afternoon, Governor Andy Bashir's office says they're still weighing options. His request to remove the statue makes him the third straight Kentucky governor to make that call. Uh, I believe that the statue of Jefferson Davis should not be in the rotunda and should be removed. That was at a news conference last week. Today, I asked the governor's communications director for an update. Her statement reiterated the governor's stance and, quote, the governor believes now is the time to remove the statue. We are working on that now by determining the required steps for moving forward. Kentucky's Historic Properties Advisory Commission oversees any changes. First Lady Brittany Bashir serves as an honorary member of the HPAC. There's really no official way for someone to request a statue be removed, although Governor Steve Bashir requested it near the end of his term in office. Governor Matt Bevin did as well. During the Bevin administration, the commission formed a special committee that studied the issue, then voted to remove a plaque calling the only president of the Confederacy a patriot and hero. Dr. Ricky Jones, the chair of UofL's Pan-African Studies Department, says he welcomes those new to calling for the statue's removal. He's been vocal about this for years, but he also warns those outraged by recent events from thinking that removing a statue will lead to more lasting change. Taking the statue down is a start, but if, if that's all they do, then it's just symbolic. And a pox on them if they would use this moment to take a statue down and do nothing else. For legislators, this is about policy work. Dr. Jones did not single out one political party over the other and failing to do that policy work, insisting that Democrats have been cowardly and Republicans callous on issues regarding racial justice and equality. At the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.